Hey everyone, sorry for the delay for those of you who've been waiting for a new video. It's been a really busy week, but it's been a really interesting week as well. I've gotten a couple of new tools and hopefully they're going to be finding their way into a new video sometime soon. i uh, used a couple of them already and so far progress is looking pretty good. And as always, I've got a couple of projects I'm going to be working on. Um, so let's, uh, let's talk a bit about what I've been doing. Like I said, got a new tool. Really excited about this one. But I managed to pick up a belt sander. Uh, there was a, a gentleman in my area who was getting rid of it. Uh, found him online and he only wanted 75 bucks for it. So I thought, perfect, because I think these things are about 300 brand new. So I've actually used it. I've uh, sanded down my um, second karambit with it, which unfortunately I don't have to show you right now because it's in the car and the wife's out with the car at work. But if you do remember, I also showed you my green destiny attempt. And this has had a bit of work done to it. It's cut down my sanding time. You'll remember I was using a grinder before. So it's helped with that. You can see it's well on its way. The only problem with this is it tended to pick up a bit of a bow about halfway through. So this one's been put on hold. I've actually taken a bit of water, just like that, and I've put this under a piece of wood and a couple of bricks in an attempt to straighten it out. Hopefully that will bring it back to shape and then I can get to work on carving it. So like I said, that's put on hold, but in the meantime, yes, I do have other things on the go. Uh, the other day I found in my little stack of goodies, this was an old table insert that I found. And I thought, well, not doing anything with it because I don't have the table and this is solid wood. So, stuck this on the back. And that's what we're going to be working on now. I'm going to see if I can cut that out. And uh, probably just cut it around there with the scroll saw. And then I was thinking even just chisel here to a reasonable depth. And then we'll see if we can add some color and see how it works out. But once that's done, and once I've had the chance to go to a craft store or two, you might have noticed I've traced a design on the back of the rest of the piece. And that is from this, my kid's guitar. And I watch a lot of random things on YouTube. And one of the videos I found myself watching lately was how to make a cello. And I've never played a cello in my life, but I'm interested. So I thought, okay, well, maybe a cello is a bit much to start out with. Let's go with something I have. And that's this little toy guitar. And the first thing you have to do is make yourself a form like that to wrap all the pieces around. And then uh, we'll get some kind of steaming device. And then once I've got the, uh, the pieces of wood, we'll steam the wood, we'll wrap it around this form and yeah, see if I can build a guitar. Should be interesting. But like I said, I don't have the wood just yet, so that's not in the immediate future. Hopefully in the next week or so. But again, that's what we'll see. We'll see if we can build today. See how it works out. So here we go. I'm going to do the chiseling part first because I think it's best if I leave this whole thing as opposed to trying to work with just the circle. And lucky enough, because it was, again, a table insert, this thing still has the little pins in it. So that pin will line up with that hole, which will sit right against the stand for the camera, which happens to be a couple of bricks. So I can push that all I want, and that's not going anywhere. Although I did just notice, okay, there might be a bit of a shake. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that somewhere else. So what we'll do is move you over there. So you can see again, that's pretty solid. 
So, here's my new set of chisels. Don't tell my stepbrother. Shh, I still have his. And we're just gonna start out with the little guy. And we'll see how this goes, because really, I have no idea. This might work, this might not work. What I'm basically gonna do is try and follow all the white in the middle and try and chunk that out. And then afterwards, this will be run through the planer, so that will take the paper off the top. And then hopefully again, we can have all the, have all the black here. I'll paint it black again, and then uh, we'll see what happens with the middle. I'm not quite sure yet, but hey, I got nothing else to do. How about you? So most of the work is going to be fairly long and tedious. You can see it's it's going to be a lot of touch work going around the corners. So I will spare you the uh, oops, spare you the details. I've given you the the basic idea, and we'll come back once this is a little further along. See you in a bit. For those of you who have never chiseled before. And by no means, don't get me wrong, I'm not an expert. But the one thing I've noticed so far, if you take your chisel and you go around the edges and you make that cut first, instead of just going straight in without making the cut and trying to cut like that, there's a good chance you'll rip the wood that way and you'll make a mess of your design. So always try to go around the edges make the cut and then you're just basically digging out the stuff in the middle and that should hopefully make it easier but we'll see anyway as you can see still got a lot of work to do so I'll get back to it also use the flat edge on the outside so you're not cutting into the edge with the beveled side. Lean in just a little bit. Like that. To get you a nice clean cut. All right, back in a bit. 
As you can see, I'm about halfway through right now, and as happy as I am about having new chisels that are really sharp, they're not quite having the same effect. If you can see, well, part of the reason, I guess, is because I'm using a U-gouge over here, and then a straight flat chisel right here. So it's, it's doing a great job of clearing, but it's not giving me the nice look that you can see all the way around here. So it's sort of, I've been using both of them all the way around, uh, sort of this one mainly for chipping out around the edges and then clearing out the majority of the top layer, and then this one for coming back and doing the detailing work, work which is what it's supposed to be really, I guess. You, you know, you use the big clumsy things to do, uh, the, the messy bits, and then come in with your finer tools. So that's your update, and we're still going. See you in a bit. Coming up on the home stretch here, and I just want to show you how tricky some of this stuff can be. Again, I'm no expert, but I'm just taking my little, I believe it's a U-gouge, I believe that's what they're called, and I'm just going to go very slowly around the tongue, just get not on the line but near the line because obviously once the tool goes down as well it's going to cut a little bit nearer as that one just did so i'll show you this in real time just so you can get a sense of how long it takes to do some of this detailing work the way i've been doing it so far you can see i'm just moving the tool around because I don't have something uh, in the complete circular shape like that and I am not talented enough to go with a straight edge and chisel around that corner I'm sure somebody is but it's not me not yet I've been doing this for maybe a month or so it's going to take a bit of time, as with anything. Definitely this secret I've learned so far is go slow. Because if you try to rush it, you're gonna end up ripping the wood. And with something as fine as this tongue is, you can see, there's a chance you just might ruin your project. So take your time. Don't wreck it. Well, here we are a few hours later. I had to stop for dinner at some point. And that is roughly carved. So what I'm gonna do now is take it over to the scroll saw, take all the outside off, and then we'll figure out uh, what's gonna get colored and what's gonna get charred, but we'll see that in a second.
And there we go. To be honest, I'm never quite sure how hard I can push on that thing without the blade snapping. And it's not quite perfect around the edges, but that's okay. I left some of that on on purpose because I want to play with my new sander. So we're going to take that over the sander and get all those edges right down to that line. And then we'll uh, play with it a bit more. Okay, here we go, sanding time. I think this will be easier if I have the machine the other way. Right-handed world, once again. pretty good with that. Uh, you can see obviously that there's a, a black line and a white line. I've actually put the white line on because I want a bit of a thicker outline in the end. So that's why I'm not taking it all the way down to that black. I'm gonna have that whole outline there black. Okay so now we're gonna come to the fun part. We're gonna take this paper off and we're gonna use this to do it with. So in true Mortal Kombat fashion I'm gonna set something on fire. Uh, I'm going to spray the, uh, the paper with a little bit of water and that should hopefully stop the paper from really catching fire because basically all I want to do here is scorch the part that I've already chiseled out and then I think what's going to happen later is I'm going to paint the paper bit red. So I've got this water here, I've got a bucket of water here, I'm on a concrete floor, I'm not setting fire to anything, don't worry. We'll give that a spray. And that should delay the fire. And hopefully we'll just get a nice sear on it, like a mid rest steak. All the water is drying out about now. Should start blackening any second now. There we go. You see the bit of color change right around here. And the paper is going to go in a second. Paper's starting to stink, I can tell you that.
So that actually looks pretty cool right there. Considering this paper was glued on. Oh, there you go. Paper's starting to come loose from the glue now. But I might even, to be honest, leave it like that. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Give me a comment below, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Tell me what you think of that. Have a good night.